to crochet a cardigan like this. So you see, this is a very nice model for the spring coming. Uh, so we will start from the armhole at and at each row we will change the stitch so that it will be very enjoying and funny to work for this cardigan. I will give you the instruction step by step for any size. So I will let you see this model, you see. I am really satisfied with it. So I'm, I'm so happy to give you all the instructions step by step. So for this project I'm using this kind of yarn, about 600 grams, to be worked with a 4 mm crochet hook. This is the diagram for a medium size with all the measures in centimeters. Please repre replace these measures with yours. Slip note to start. And now do a foundation chain of 75. Now we are going to start with the first row. We are going to do two corners. The first one into stitch number 33 the second one into the stitch number 43. The number of starting chains is the same for any size because size can be increased doing more rows than mine. Additional chain 2 and now 1, 2 and 3 takes the take the place of the first double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook do the second double crochet and now go ahead doing double crochet across the row till you reach the stitch number 33 I did 32 double crochet and now in the next stitch, the number 33, I have to do my first corner. Yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch and do double crochet 2, 1 and 2. Now chain 2, 1 and 2, yarn over and do another two double crochet into the same stitch like that now continue doing double crochet one into the next stitches till stitch number 42 I worked with double crochet till the stitch number 42. Now I have the chain stitch number 43 where I have to create another corner exactly the same where I did in the stitch number 33 the first one. So yarn over and into the stitch number 43 I'm doing double crochet 2 one and two chain two one and two into the same stitch another double crochet two one and two and now go ahead doing double crochet one in each stitch across the row till 
till the last one which will be the number 75. Like the that. first row is completed, completed, ready for the second one. For the second row, I don't have a solid stitch, but I have one double crochet, one chain. So from here, chain four and turn, one, two, three, and four the first three chains takes the place of the first double crochet the fourth chain is for separation yarn over skip the next stitch into the next one double crochet one and now from here repeat always the same chain one yarn over skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one chain one skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one go ahead like that till the next corner i will show you how to crochet into the corner i am close to the corner i have to work into the chain two space a new corner for this round so from here chain one yarn over skip the next stitch and into the two chains space do a new corner double crochet two one and two chain two and double crochet two again like that chain one yarn over skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one and now chain one skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one till the next corner okay when you reach the next corner the second one chain one skip one stitch and repeat a new corner into the chain two space so double crochet two chain two and double crochet two again after that chain one yarn over skip one stitch double crochet one and repeat the usual stitch pattern till the end of this row like that okay ready for row number three from here now it's very easy because we have to chain three and turn now double crochet one in each stitch of previous round so into the chain one space one double crochet one double crochet into the next stitch sorry like that and now do double crochet one in each one of the next stitches till you reach the first corner okay we are close to the corner now we are cr crocheting two double crochet one and two into the double crochet of previous corner below and now in the chain two space we are going to create a new corner made of one and two double crochet chain two double crochet two again we will work for every new corner at every new row in this way then go ahead doing double crochet one in each stitch across the row till you get the next corner 
and you will work exactly like this one and then go ahead doing double crochet one in each stitch of previous round row sorry till the end of this row so a very easy solid stitch for this row okay ready for chain four chain three for row four chain three and turn now double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next one again so we start with this row with double crochet three into the first three stitches now chain one yarn over skip one stitch and repeat double crochet one into the next stitch double crochet one into the next one double crochet one into the next one again chain one skip one stitch and repeat double crochet one two and three repeat till you reach the first corner when i reach the corner you see i have to do chain one the last two stitches and then a new corner into the chain two space so double crochet two chain two and another double crochet two into the chain two space okay now here i repeat what i did exactly uh, just one step before the corner so double crochet two one and two into the next two stitches chain one skip one stitch and repeat the pattern with double crochet three one two three chain one skip one stitch double crochet three chain one and so on till the next corner okay now we are close to the next the second corner as you see chain one the last one and two double crochet because i have only two stitches available before the corner now into the chain two space i repeat a new corner double crochet two one and two chain two again double crochet two into the chain space like that and now repeat what you did before the corner therefore one and two double crochet chain one skip one stitch and now repeat double crochet three one two and three chain one skip one stitch double crochet three chain one double crochet three chain one double crochet three chain one till the end of this row okay row number five i change my color of course you change or not depending what you prefer i'm doing double crochet one in each stitch of previous round so it's very very easy of course when i reach the corner i just have to repeat a new corner into the chain space like i did for example at row number three you see this is the same stitch okay so you have to repeat what you did at row number three from the row number five you start doing totally 
five rows of double crochet one two three four five rows so till row number nine included five six seven eight and nine row number 10 do another row with double crochet so totally six one two three four five six i only said five before because i changed color row number 10 chain one and turn single crochet one into the very first stitch the same where from where you did the chain yarn over skip next two stitches one two and into the next one do double crochet three one two and three chain one and again double crochet three into the same stitch one two and three skip next two stitches into the next one single crochet one now repeat this segment till you reach the next corner here so i show you again yarn over skip the next two stitches into the next one double crochet three one two three chain one again double crochet three into the same stitch one two three skip the next two stitches into the next one single crochet one so go ahead like that till the first corner okay we are close to the corner so we have one two three stitches left yarn over skip next two stitches into the third one do double crochet three one two and and sorry three now we have the chain two space and we know that we have to do a new corner in each chain two space so into the space double crochet two one and two chain two another double crochet two one and two now we are we are on the other side and we have to repeat what we did here just before the corner so into the next stitch do double crochet three one two and three skip next two stitches into the next one single crochet one and now repeat the segment one two into the next one double crochet three chain one double crochet three till you reach the next corner one two single crochet like that i am close now to the second corner i have one two three stitches available yarn over skip the, ne the next two stitches into the next one double crochet three one two three now a new corner into the chain two space double crochet two one and two chain two one two 
another double crochet two into the same space like that and now into the first stitch after the corner double crochet three one two and three skip next two stitches into the next one single crochet one and now repeat the shell stitch till the end of this row Finish this row with one single crochet into the last stitch. Next row, chain three, which take the place of the first double crochet, additional chain two for separation and turn your work now single crochet into the chain one space into the center of the shell below now chain two one double crochet into the single crochet below of previous round chain two single crochet into the center the chain one space of the next shell below chain two double crochet into the single crochet below and now go ahead like that chain two single crochet into the center of the shell now keep going working like that till you reach the next corner okay i'm close to the corner now from here chain two skip the next one and two stitches into the next one single crochet one from here chain two go into the top of the corner the chain space and do sorry yarn over and do double crochet two one and two chain two one and two again double crochet two one and two now from here exactly the same chain two skip the next two stitches into the next one single crochet one and now keep going with the pattern chain two double crochet one into the single crochet below chain two single crochet one into the center of the shell below and so on till the next corner where you will do exactly the same you did right now into the center of the first corner at the end of this row chain two and finish with one double crochet into the single crochet below like that now you can cut the yarn chain one pull like that and close your work because now we have to stop working on this edge and we will keep working only into this edge and the bottom of the cardigan 
but not on this edge on the front. Okay, now with the new yarn, we start working from the corner here at the bottom of this right side. For the left side of the cardigan, we have to start instead from the top of the cardigan. And I'm doing that so that in this way the shell row will be always on the front side of both halves. Okay, from the bottom and from the front corner of the right side pick up the yarn, pull it through the center of the corner, chain three, one, two, and three. Now double crochet one into the next double crochet below and another double crochet into the next double crochet below like that now keep going doing double crochet one in each stitch of previous round all the way around For the right side we start working with a new yarn on the top, pick up the yarn, chain 3 and now double crochet 1 in each stitch below. Okay, after uh, we stop and skipped working on one edge of our piece, I did another one, two, three rows of double crochet, working only on three edges of my piece. When your two pieces are complete, you have to join them on the back, of course from the reverse side, internal side, you have to sew and join uh, the back here of the two pieces. Then of course you have also to join up there on the shoulders and as you see your two front pieces are smaller than the back ones and this is okay this is normal because now we have to work all around the opening for the neck in order to create a very nice collar on the front uh, of our cardigan and of course this collar uh, will be the same uh, as the back. I will show you. Okay, at this stage my cardigan is a kind of vest. I think it's too short for me. So now I will uh, join a new yarn here at the bottom of my cardigan. And I will do some additional rows to make it longer. Okay, after joining the two pieces, I'm ready to make my cardigan longer. So I'm starting from the left front side. I'm going to the bottom and 
sorry I'm inserting my hook into the first stitch down there I'm pick up the yarn pick up the yarn pull it through the stitch now chain three which take the place of the first double crochet into the next stitch second double crochet into the next one third double crochet like that and now I'm repeating the same stitch I did at the last row you see made of three double crochet chain one three double crochet chain one so now chain one skip the stitch of previous round and into the double crochet repeat one two three double crochet chain one skip one stitch into the next one double crochet one two three chain one skip one stitch into the next one one two three and so on all across this row of course you can do so many rows you like for the length you have to reach for your cardigan okay to make my cardigan longer i did totally 12 rows now i'm ready for the row number 13 this is the last one i have totally 136 stitches because i increased two stitches more or less about the half and i started and finished each row with four double crochet instead of three okay so now my total number of stitches 136 is a multiple of eight chain one and do single crochet one into the first stitch yarn over twice insert your hook in the first empty space and do a triple crochet chain one yarn over twice second triple crochet chain one the third one chain one the fourth triple chain one and now the last one fifth triple this is your shell now close this shell fix this shell in the next space with single crochet one and now repeat all across the row till the end of this row you will finish with one single crochet into the last stitch I would like to explain you how we have to work to create this collar we will start from the corner where we finished and we will work row after row going up and working also around mm -hmm. the neck then go back down to the other side mm -hmm. to the other corner then chain one and turn and again again row after row we are going to create mm -hmm. this high collar my collar is about eight nine centimeters high of course you can do it higher if you like to have a bigger collar okay after finishing the last decoration uh, row you don't need to cut the yarn 
I cut the yarn, but I was wrong. So you have to keep working and from the last uh, single crochet you just have to turn because now we have to work all around all across the edge of the front side then we will work around the neck creating the collar and then again going down towards the bottom of the cardigan so we are going to do several rows starting from this corner and finishing here finishing always at the end of the last row the last stitch so for this row will be the last single crochet okay starting from the first edge of the front side uh, now we are going to do for the first row we are going to do single crochet one in each stitch across this first row all around going down going around the collar going down there till the next stitch which will be the single crochet on the opposite side so we will stop here into this single crochet okay i finished this first row of single crochet into the single crochet which was the beginning of the last row for the bottom okay now from here chain one turn your work and now go back again doing a second row of single crochet all across the row all around the neck till the opposite side here finishing into the first single crochet you did for the first row okay for the third row of the collar this time i'm going to do chain two and turn the first two chains take the place of the first half double crochet and now into the next stitch half double crochet half double crochet in each stitch across the row till the end of this row on the opposite side like that okay the first row of half double crochet which was the third one really is at the end now we go back and do another round of half double crochet and then another one another one and so on so on till the end of uh, our collar are ready for the sleeve as you see I already did one okay I show you how to do it of course you have to join a new yarn here at the bottom of your armhole insert your hook pick up the yarn pull it through the stitch like that chain one and now do 54 single crochet all the way around so of course you have to distribute equally your stitches and um, so consider that when you are on the half you should have done already uh, 27 more or less 
27 stitches 27 on one half 27 on the other half when you are ready at the end of this round of course you slip stitch into the first single crochet of this round this is the first 54 round for the single crochet are for the medium size add multiples of three if you want to make your sleeve larger uh, and uh, so uh, from 54 to 57 or to 60 or to 63 and so on depending on the structure of your body of course uh, if you have a slim arm or a large one okay second round for the sleeve chain three which take the place of the first double crochet yarn over into the second stitch double crochet one so at the beginning you have a double crochet one and two chain one yarn over skip the next stitch into the next one double crochet one into the next one double crochet one and now again repeat chain one skip one stitch into the next two stitches double crochet one and two so you have keep working like that all the way around doing double crochet two chain one double crochet two chain one that's why the multiple is one two three you see at the end of this round of course you finish with chain one and slip stitch into the third chain you did at the beginning at the end of this first round chain one and slip stitch into the third chain you did at the beginning like that now you can keep going on uh, till round 10 included in this way okay for the sleeve we don't need to decrease because we will uh, make our um, sleeve gradually smaller only changing the cro crochet hook size so from round one to round 11 included use a four millimeters crochet hook from round 12 to round 18 a 3.5 millimeters and then from 19 to 33 a 3 millimeters crochet hook so you don't need to decrease but but just changing the hook size you can give the right shape to your sleeve 